It is me, Mary, and I am here today with an amazing, hopefully amazing, video for you. This is a homeschool video guy. This is a guy. Guy. Um, this is a homeschool video, you guys. So this is not a couponing video. So I do have a lot of people on my page who homeschool their children or are looking to homeschool. And seeing as how this is my first year, I really wanted to use this as an opportunity for all of us to grow together because I know there's a lot of people who have invaluable information I'd love to learn from you. And maybe I can help you guys out some too, probably not. But hey, it's worth a try, right? Let's work together to help promote uh, the best education that we can for our kids. So anyways, last week I provided the information on this logbook here for you. Um, and here we go, just in case you did not see this last week, and I know some people actually ordered this book, so it's pretty neat. I bought this out of my own money. It's not a you know paid review. I just want to help anybody I can, and I think this is a great tool. Um, so that's my daughter, Marie. And I'll just let you see what we did last week here. I didn't get this book till Wednesday, so you'll only see it from Wednesday. But something I want you to note is that I had tests for her to do. And within her test, once she got um, her grades, the fun thing about this is you have a great way to actually chart the test. And then you can continue to go throughout the year and basically see how she's doing in her different assignments. So it's a really good deal there. So here we go, guys. Um, this is our weekly lesson plan. I create my own lesson plan. I do not... Um, use any type of homeschool program so I don't know if I'm a hundred percent but I worked really hard in studying everything I needed to make sure that she was at a good level so I know some classes are hard to come up with so I thought I'd just go ahead and share so let's go ahead and look so this week for home ec um, which is a fun <laughs> class to have because not everybody can um, you know figure that one out but anyway so here we go um, this week what we did on Monday was kitchen safety skills and as you can see here, there's a time. So what you do is you go to the bottom and you bring down your time that you have so that way you can do credits or anything that you need to do for the year to show that you're meeting the standards. Um, she did making a pot roast. That was 30 minutes. We worked over the proper handling of meat products. She had to get in and do some cooking. She made fried rice and stir fry. The meat products took a little bit of a while because there's a lot to go in that. We are going to be doing tomorrow how to handle shellfish. As you can see here, there's R-E-S-C, so that is research. So uh, when you're homeschooling, you have to do computer skills, so that is going to be done online with computers. Friday, we're going to have kitchen safety skills and sanitation. And then Sunday, she's going to do a breakfast. So for this week in history, um, we're doing quite a few different things. Last week we studied the Bible lands, so this week we're going to do a review. We had a, or we, yes, we did have a history reading worksheet that we did, and she did a crossword puzzle. We studied history of ancient Egypt. We did the food, daily life, and that was a research project, and she also had a worksheet. And we also um, did some of this today, we're not done yet, but history of ancient Egypt, and she had to do a complete drawing of the map. Tomorrow, she will be doing the research of Babylon, and she'll be doing a drawing of a map, and that will be the end of the week for her. She learns really good by drawing, so I think that that's a good thing to implement if you have a child that's very visual. So for literature, we had been on short stories, um, but we're transitioning over now to novels. But on Monday, we had a personal reading and interpretation. She had to do an outline of what makes a short story, and that was graded. So uh, that was an assignment to where basically she had to put all the key points to show and describe what is a short story. So we had to, on Wednesday, do some research, and that's computer research, on what is a novel. We had to go over novel reading, and she had to read an article, or excuse me, a small novel, and do an interpret full interpretation. So today she did some more novel reading, and these are all going to be different um, stories. Some of them are a little bit longer, so it takes a few days. But anyway, she had to write two uh, descriptive paragraphs. Tomorrow she's doing more novel reading, and she has to do a test on the information for all of the different material that she's read during the week, excluding her personal reading. 
Okay, so for Judaism, we are Jewish, um, so we definitely uh, implement this into our um, learning curriculum. And whatever degree you have, many times you have to study theology. So I think it's good to, even if you are not, you know, a big religious person, I think that just implementing things that people are going to use as they grow in college never hurts. But we are Jewish, so I enjoy this. So we had to go over Genesis 4, and she did the Cain and Abel. Always fun there. We went over 6 and 7. She went over the Noah's Ark. She also um, expanded upon that in 7 and 9, went over the flood. She had a review, and then she had an overall test on Genesis up to 9. So she had been working on Genesis last week as well. So then we had the Tower of Babel, and that was going to be, um, that's the Genesis 11. And she has to lead the family in Shabbat. So that is something that... Um, Jewish people do on Fridays, and it's a wonderful celebration that we have. But anyway, so uh, she has to make sure that she leads the family in that. So PE, I think, is really hard for homeschool. At least it's starting to be kind of hard for me, but I'm trying to figure it out as much as I can. Any advice? I would love to hear it. So one of the things that we did during the week was how to work the leg muscles. And essentially what we did was went over the different parts of the leg and the muscle structure in the leg. And then we did a video on lower body exercise. So that's what she did there. The um, next thing that we did, because we do not do PE every day, was how to work the bicep. And we basically looked at some of the different um, fibrous tissues and different things in the bicep. And we watched a video on that. And actually, we also did some bicep work. So she will also be doing Sweating with the Oldies, which is like the bomb, man. I love Richard Simmons. So anyways, we're going to be doing that. Um, I'll probably do that with her. So, yep. Okay, so Marie takes a little bit of a different type of mathematics. Um, I'm very big in economics, and, you know, I was a chief financial officer. I'm really into uh, looking at things from a financial perspective and just a different way. So I really wanted her to uh, place an emphasis on principles of economics, and we couple that with math. So a lot of life skills here. So the first day we did, what is a deposit slip? So we went over all the different components of a bank deposit slip. We looked at deposit slips for larger practices or businesses. We also looked at them for personal use. We did a Rite Aid ad preview or review, excuse me. And I know that may sound funny, but there's a lot of mathematics when you come into coupon, and we all know that. So the next thing we did was a worksheet, and it is a uh, Rite Aid, is it a good investment? And essentially what we do with that is we review certain items that are on sale. She has to research the sales prices versus the regular retail. She has to look at the different uh, coupons that are available and find out the best way to be able to work a deal. And then she will do this worksheet and she'll be able to see if it is a good financial investment. And I know some of y'all have asked me to present the worksheet, so I will be going ahead and presenting those. As you know, my computer's down. Um, I purchased a different computer today and the webcam was horrific. So uh, once my money goes back on my card tomorrow, I will be going to Staples and buying another computer so y'all will see me soon. So anyways, once I get that, then I can... Um, go ahead and upload that, but I have completely lost everything. Um, so right now it's all written, but I'll go ahead and put it back in a format again. So the next thing we did was what is a check? So obviously there's different components of a check and why would you use a check and how is it used as a form of payment, X, Y, Z. And then we also did a review on deposit slips and she had to go ahead and fill out a few different deposit slip formats there. And she had to do some that had about 15 different checks and forms of currency, different forms of currency. So pretty nice there. So tomorrow we are doing, actually, this was, when was this? Was this today? We haven't done this yet, so it looks like we're going to have to do this. Um, it was a Rite Aid shopping evaluation form. Once again, it's kind of hard to get these because my computer had it all. Now, we did the mathematics pages 17 through 24, questions 1 through 16. So we just have to get this because I don't really have the evaluation form right now. Okay, so the Rite Aid Return on Investment Worksheet. That's another one that I have now lost since I lost everything on my computer. But I can go ahead from memory and pretty much draw that up for her, so that is planned. We also have a test, which is going to be a math test that I'm going to uh, create. It's going to include just basic mathematics and also some other um, 
more so just frugal living principles of finance types of questions. So for Saturday, I know that, you know, it's, it's a weekend, but she still does this. We do the CVS ad preview, and she's going to prepare, prepare a cost-benefit analysis of the ads and what she's going to have and look at that. And we're pretty much going to go on, is it a good investment? However, starting out, we always do a um, cost-benefit analysis, so she's going to do that. As for science this week, um, we had to study cells. And this is basically, I mean, it's just very introductory. And I think anatomy is a big thing that's very important to me. Um, I just really love that. When I went to school, you know, I, I definitely have some different um, educational background and work background. I was a chief financial officer, and I also worked very, very heavily in um, the medical field, uh, working with autopsy patients and et cetera. So this is very important to me. So I like going into anatomy and that type of science. So we're really working on a lot of that right now. So we've got cells. Uh, we had to also do five facts. And that is not research because she actually did that in the book. So something else we worked on this week was breathing. And it's really getting into more so the respiratory system. However, it is titled as breathing. She had to write two paragraphs about oxygen and the bloodstream and how they obviously work together. We worked on the skeleton, and we had a full worksheet on that. Didn't get into all of the bones, but we did a basic uh, breakdown. Today she did an overview of the hu human skull, uh, which included a drawing. It's a lot of bones in the human skull, so it was pretty fun. Tomorrow she will be working on what makes the female skeleton different from the male's. And that's going to be an overall review of what we've done this week because she will have a test next week. For Spanish, we do speak Spanish. I know you're going to think I'm crazy for getting her to take Spanish, but you've got to understand when you clip out of things in college, I clipped out of Spanish uh, in college, and when you do that, some of the questions are relatively hard if you are not um, learning Spanish from a educational type perspective, not just a household. So we worked on numbers 30 through 60. We did a review of days, months, and years. Those are the pages. Worked on numbers 60 through 100, and mostly what that is is spelling, proper spelling. She obviously knows that, but proper spelling. Uh, she did a test on the dates, so that she got a 90 on that test. She worked on numbers, and we pretty much went through the hundreds and thousands at this point in spelling. She also had a worksheet that was due, and that was a um, numbers worksheet. Uh, we did a, another worksheet that basically says days of the week worksheet. And she did a review on dates as well. She also did another worksheet, which is the months of the year worksheet. And we did a what day is it worksheet. For our computer sciences, and also I put computer sciences and career studies or um, type of information here. We had to do some novel research online. We did history research. She did the shellfish research. She did an Excel um, sheet. And she also did, what else did she do? Um, some science research. Tomorrow she has to do another Excel worksheet. She has to do some science research and history research. And then on Friday she'll have something to do with the, uh, or excuse me, Saturday she'll be working on the cost benefit analysis, which is under Microsoft Word. So that is our lesson plan for the week. So if you have any questions or any comments, anything, <laughs> absolutely, I am here. I hope you enjoy this. And basically, this is our schedule, and that's how we are working out our homeschool program. Y'all have a good one. If you have any good tips, please feel free to share.